What's going on? In this mini chat template tour video, I'm gonna give you a tour of a messenger bot called the Pain Funnel, which comes with two growth tools, a JSON Facebook ads growth tool and a messenger ref URL growth tool. Now what this messenger bot does is it gets people to opt in and then it asks them for their email, phone number, and then a couple follow-up questions. This messenger bot is tailored more for chiropractors, but anybody in the health industry or anybody that does healing of any kind can probably use this bot and maybe just change up the copy and the images a little bit to work best for their business. So before we jump into the template tour, I wanted to tell you about our free mini chat cheat sheet. So we've created a PDF download and a video walkthrough. If you're like me and you're not a big reader, then the video walkthrough is gonna be great for you. But basically this cheat sheet covers the 11 crucial features that your ManyChat Messenger bot must have. Now if you wanna get this free cheat sheet, then go to bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. That's bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. We'll send it to you in a Facebook message, so make sure that you're logged in the messenger, and then when that message window opens, then type in the keyword learn, and then that'll go through the process of getting you the PDF download and the video walkthrough. So now let's go ahead and jump into this ManyChat template tour. All right, so here we are in ManyChat in the growth tools section. That's where it all starts. So we're just gonna walk through the ref URL growth tool side of things. Now the difference between the ref URL and the JSON Facebook ads growth tool is that with the ref URL, you can use their first name and pull in their first name into the message sequence, where with the JSON Facebook ads, with the opt-in message, you cannot use their first name and it has to be limited in character count. It's only 150 characters with the JSON Facebook ads growth tool, where with the messenger ref URL, you can have it a lot longer. So immediately they're hit with this GIF of this bear waving hello. Now you can easily change this GIF to any greeting type of GIF that you wanna use. And then above this dotted line, we have some message information about what you wanna accomplish with this message, where you can find GIFs, things like that. And then in the message there, we're kind of doing a little greeting saying, hey, let's get you set up for your free consultation. Click the button below if you're ready now. So they click on yes, I'm ready, and that starts this message flow. Now the first message of this message flow says, hey, we'll just need a little bit of information from you. What is your best email address? So it collects their email address, and then I will show you, once you purchase this template, I have a tutorial video that will show you how to connect Zapier so that you can pull this email address out of ManyChat and send it over to your CRM, to a Google Sheet, to you in an email follow-up sequence. So you will be able to pull this email address that you collect from them out of ManyChat and send it really wherever you'd like. So once you get your email address, then the next message is this GIF showing them an old school phone and it says, Thanks, can you please provide your best phone number in case I need to reach you directly? So they give you their phone number and then a tag is added. This tag is called name, number, email, lead. So this tag is added because this is supposed to trigger Zapier to then pull their first name, last name, email, and phone number and then send it over to your Google Sheet. Now the reason why we have this happening right here is because a lot of people don't proceed to answer the following questions. They may drop out early. So we wanna make sure that we at least pull that information out of ManyChat as soon as we get it, just in case they don't actually answer the following questions. Now if they do answer the following questions, then there is a second tag that is added, which will trigger another Zapier automation to pull all the information, the email, phone number, and all of the answers over to a Google Sheet or to really wherever you want. So after they answer their phone number question, then it asks them this question right here, do you currently have health insurance? If so, what's your provider or plan? Again, you'll want to delete all of this information above the dotted line because this is just us giving you insight into what you want to say in this message. Now you can easily change the copy of this message just by clicking in there. And if you wanted to even delete this message or move it around, you can delete it with the X or drag, the, drag these little arrows right there and you can move it around. Now, after they answer that question, this GIF is gonna play showing a cat massaging a dog. Now, the reason why we put GIFs in here is because we wanna keep it engaging, we wanna keep it fun, friendly, for them to keep going through the questions and things like that. So then we ask them the next question, are you currently experiencing any pain throughout your body? If so, is it your back, your neck, any other area? So once they answer that question, 
then the response is saved to a custom field called the pain point. So you can easily change you know, the copy and then change what the custom field is called that the question, that the answer is saved into. But the main thing is that you have a custom field. You gotta make sure that a custom field is created and that the answer is being recorded in there. Now the next question is, are there any reasons for requesting an appointment with us? So reason for visit, things like that. They answer that question and then they're sent this GIF right here. Confirmation GIF saying cool, you know, something like that. Thanks for that. When was your last time you saw a chiropractor? Last chiropractic visit, you know, question like that. Next question is, okay, have you been to our office before? Next question is, okay, last question, what is your preferred day or time for an appointment? So once they answer this question, that second tag is added, like I told you, and then all of the answers are pulled out of ManyChat and sent over to wherever you want to set up using Zapier. Also, when they answer this question, they are subscribed to a follow-up sequence and that is a multi-message sequence, which I'm gonna show you right now. So this right here is the follow-up message sequence. You can find it under automation, in sequences, and once they're sent that last message and they answer that, then they are immediately sent this confirmation message right here. And if you do have a free offer that, they, that you initially told them about getting them in, then here's where they can claim that free digital download or if you have a free consultation that you're gonna give them, then maybe you have like a coupon that they can download or just some kind of confirmation saying, you know, here is that freebie that we promised you. So you're saying, awesome, that's it for now. We'll be in touch with you shortly. Click here below to get your free offer. If you're not doing a free offer, then maybe you just link them over to a blog post or a piece of content or your website or anything like that. But that is the confirmation message to all of the questioning that they just went through. And then a day later, they are sent this message. Now you can easily change the time frame between each of these messages. You just click right there, and then you can add more days, or you can change the time of the day that the message is sent. But this is the next message in the sequence. Now we have our information right here, giving you some insight into what you should look to accomplish with this message. We have this GIF right here that you can easily change if you're not a fan of it. And then this message right here says, hey, first name, did you know that as much as half of all Americans admit, of all working Americans admit to having back pain symptoms? Back pain, blah, blah, blah. So it goes on and then it says, well, did you like the free offer? Click the button below now to check out our piece of content and then you can link them over to whatever piece of content you'd like to. Basically, the goal of this message is to follow up with them, to kind of keep your brand top of mind, touch base with them, provide them value, things like that. Then the next message in the sequence, right now we have it set for five days, but again, you can change this to just be one day, two days, it's up to you. So this next message is this. This is our little insight message, so you'll make sure you'll want to delete this. And then they're sent this GIF right here. And it says, hey, first name, We've been hearing so many of our patients about how much they love, how they feel after an adjustment. So this is kind of like a social proof type of message. You're kind of sharing a success story, sharing a patient testimonial, a review. So then you link them over to your reviews to kind of build that credibility, build that trust, and kind of show them that you've really helped a lot of people. Now after three days, they're sent this message right here. Again, you have the insight message that you'll want to delete and then you have this GIF right here. So that GIF is sent and then it says first name and then it'll pull in their first name. I hope you're having a pain-free day. Just wanted to reach out and let you know that we're running a special offer on 30, 60, and 90 minute massages. So here's where you can hit them with a special offer or you can just change up the copy, the copy and link them directly over to uh, a piece of content or really anywhere that you want. Now the Final message in the message sequence is this one right here. This is our insight message. You'll want to delete this. And here's the message right here. It says, hey, first name, do you want pain relief that you can get all by yourself? In our newest blog, we share with you 10 DIY pain relief hacks that you can start right now. So sending them over to a piece of content 
giving them value, touching base with them, following up, getting them to remember your brand. Hopefully by now a member of your team has reached out to them, talked with them, scheduled that appointment, gotten them in the door, uh, you know, giving them that free value, the free consultation, everything like that. So that is the overall pain funnel sequence message flow, the opt-in. Again, it comes with the two growth tools, one being the Facebook ads JSON growth tool, the other one being a messenger ref URL. That's just a special URL that you can put in emails, you can put in on landing pages, you can you can tell people the actual URL or, or shorten it, make it a bit.ly link and you tell them it verbally on a video or podcast or something and then they visit that URL and they get opt into your overall sequence here. So that is the overall funnel. Again, if you have not yet downloaded our free ManyChat cheat sheet, then head over to bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. That's bit.ly slash MC cheat sheet. We'll send you the video and the PDF through Facebook Messenger. So you gotta make sure that you're logged in. And then when you visit that bit.ly link, then you gotta type in the word learn, and then that will send you the overall message flow and everything like that. So thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.